Hey everyone, welcome back to another PS3 homebrew video. And today I wanted to go through the ultimate toolbox with you very quickly. And it's by far one of the best applications to have on your PS3, on your monitor PS3. And it does all sorts of fun stuff. And you can do uh, backups, you can delete a bunch of stuff from your hard drive or your USB stick. And it also has visual customizations, which is one of my favorite features about this. As you can see, I have a different sort of kind of a background with the original XMB and different icons. And you can also change the font with this ultimate toolbox. It's very easy to install this application. I'll have a link in the description down below so you can go and download it. Uh, copy it over to your USB stick and go through your package manager and install the package file through your USB stick. And it should be fairly easy to do. And you'll have the ultimate toolbox available. Now there's a lot of different things that you can do on here and you want to be very careful when it comes to like um, going through the backup utility, uh, also the firmware settings, make sure you're reading carefully as to what you're looking at and what you're trying to do. But yeah, I'll go through this fairly quickly and uh, show you all the features about this amazing app. So here are our power options. And we can shut down soft reboot, hard reboot, advanced options, and we can reboot into a database rebuild, file system check, and recovery mode. Our backup utility, we can do a system backup. We can do a backup of our home folder, our boot plugins, registry, firmware saves, dump tools, and within these different options. Here we can do a complete backup to our USB. We can restore a backup from our USB. Let's see, home folder, and all sorts of cool stuff here. Let's do dump tools. We can dump our IDPS, saves the console's IDPS to log file. This is cool. This displays our minimum downgrade version. So you can take a look at what the lowest firmware is. So for me, it's going to be the 2.70 on the PS3 Slim, the second generation. You can also browse and delete files. So if you're looking for something that you downloaded and installed and you want to get rid of it, this is very convenient because you don't really have to open up like um, Multiman to go on the back end to find these files and delete them straight from your hard drive. And this just gives you a nice little addition. It gives you a nice little... Uh, like it says, a toolbox, a nice little toolbox. The ultimate toolbox gives you that nice little feature to go through your files and delete them straight through your XMB here. And it's very nice, very, very convenient. And I, and I recommend everyone to download this and install it and use it right away. And here are my games for the PS3 that I downloaded. Now, the one thing I don't like about this, for example, like if I wanted to get rid of a certain application, uh, like, let's see, we can uh, delete the, what's this, Plex. It doesn't show me, like, any, hmm, it doesn't show me, like, storage size. Browse and delete your files. And just be careful that you don't uh, delete something very important. Uh, just make sure to read what you're looking at because it doesn't really give you a lot of information. So be very, very careful when you're messing through, like, some of these other folders i only go through like packages and game and save states and stuff like that but very nice little feature a nice little option to also take a look at like our storage devices our memory cards optimal optical not optimal but optical disk and internal flash memory got to be very careful on this one though uh, very very careful so Anyways, let's move on to our firmware settings. And here, again, we have to be very careful, but there are some really cool options for us to mess around in. So our, our package manager options, enable standard package manager, disable, install, and we can block firmware updates. Very nice. We can show our IP on XMB. And here's some extra options for HEN advanced users only and for Cobra advanced users only so here's our settings for evil net and ferox and rebug so as you can see the flashing yellow triangle 
be very careful and use at your own risk. Very careful using these options. And going down to some of the more favorite, some of the best options of this toolbox here, and that's the content downloader. We have a selection of demo discs that you can download. Pretty awesome. We have PS2 demos, right? But these are the official UK. So uh, there's a bunch of PS3 stuff too. It's insane how many demos there are for the PS3. And here's an example of something I downloaded through stream. And if you're interested in the full stream of me covering this step by step, I'll have a link in that description or somewhere here on the screen so you can go and and uh, watch that. But I downloaded this Bomberman Ultra and I downloaded it directly through Ultimate Toolbox. It was flawless. So if you're interested in trying out a game for the very first time or, or you know, kind of uh, curious about some of these titles, you can download that demo and you can see how much it is this one's like 56 megabytes this one's 565 megabytes give it a little taste and if you like it go pick up the game copy it on your ps3 and have some fun so yeah here are four different folders so this is the eu demos a, a total of 242 games or items that's uh for the uh, eu then we also have HK and Japan. So JAP demos. So there's only 68 in this one. Kind of interesting. But yeah, let's go back and we can also download some magazines. So we have official UK PlayStation magazines of 2018. We have 2019, 2020, and 2021. Broadcast. And this is really cool. We can download uh, some pup files. We can download Rebug. We can download, let's see, uh, EvilNet, Ferox. You got to be very careful in what you're doing here. Obviously, you got to know what kind of firmware works for your console because not all firmwares will work for every console. So you have to be very careful in how you're going through this if you're trying to downgrade or upgrade and stuff like that. So just do your due diligence to research online. And make sure that you don't break your system going through these updates you're downloading. And here's a official firmware of 3.55. Very interesting that they have that available for us. So that's very nice. Going back to the Package Manager Pro. Here we can uh, install package files from all locations. So we can look at everything that's available on the PS3's hard drive or on the USB stick. We can install package files. From the storage devices, we can delete package files and download, manage your downloaded content bubbles. So there's none in here. And the most interesting part about this whole toolbox is the visual, visual customization. Now the themes and wallpapers are not working because the website that hosts or has these available to download is not live it's not current the licenses are expired or something like that where the website has not been renewed and the original developer of this amazing application needs some help to support the website so a lot of these are kind of lost there are dynamic themes you can see there there's amazing earth for 10 megabytes there's amazing earth with blue planet 3.2 megabytes and there's a bunch of static so there's around, man, there's a lot of themes. So this one has 194. This one has two over 200. And the list goes on. But it's kind of pointless to go through this because it doesn't really work. So if you try to download one, it's going to give us a DNS error just like that. And not able to access that nor the wallpaper. So we're getting the same same message through the wallpapers it's unfortunate because there's thousands of wallpapers here look at that there's 200 200 200 200 games cityscapes cars animals and abstract crazy crazy so the wallpaper settings for webman mod you will have to have a uh, webman installed but we can download the wallpaper pack through this uh, download a pack of wallpapers to the wallpaper for use with webman mod pretty cool and the most interesting part about this is the cold 
boot logos, the sound, the background wave options, the system font options, and it, the list goes on. It, it's crazy. So what I'm going to do is change these options really quick because I don't want this video to go over uh, too long. But you'll get the idea and you can go through these one by one and see what's your favorite. And I did cover a bunch of this through the stream that I did on Wednesday, July 20th, 2022. Again, that video will be in the description down below so you can go through and have some fun and, and see what was available through this amazing application. But as far as the cold boot logo goes, this is the logo that appears when you first start your PS3. So I currently have something, uh, let's see here, I have like this original PS3 logo with like a bunch of characters inside of it. But for example, we'll do, let's do an interesting one here. And there's a lot of options you can see. There's also grayscale options. So like the black and white logos, very nice. But we're going to go into color because it's nice to have a little bit of flare and a little bit of color to our boot. Um, let's try some, there we go. Uh, there's a lot, I'm telling you, there's a bunch of them. Some of them are stupid <laughs> and some of them are pretty cool, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of different, <laughs> there's, there's, uh, there's an option for everyone. I'm sure. Right. Uh, let's do, I'm, I'm very picky, so <laughs> I apologize. Uh, let's do, um, Let's do, uh, again, I'm very damn picky. Just pick one, Ray. Just pick one. Damn it. We'll do Sonic and Mario. So we'll overwrite that. And don't worry. If you don't like that cool boot logo option, you want to go back to the original. Right here under cold boot logo settings, you can revert to official cold boot logo. So I'll cover a lot of this stuff in separate videos. I will make sure to cover everything uh, in different videos because it's just so so much that we can cover through this but um, you can do uh, cold sound boots we'll do uh, the PS1 here we'll change it to PS1 and again if you're not happy with the changes you can always go back and revert to the original to official so you don't have to worry about like losing anything original from the PS3 uh, background wave options I'm going to change this to dual color waves I'll do the left side blue and the right side purple. We'll do a speed of four. We'll do that. We'll change that. And we're changing this and it's not doing it right now live. You will have to completely restart your system. Let's see here, system font options. So we're not, I guess we're not getting those options there. We used to have a bunch of options for font, but it's not showing up. Not sure why. And the XMB icon. So I guess these are not showing up as well. It's kind of weird, but I'll change it to this glossy icon. And from the toolbox, let's go to hard reboot and you'll see everything change right away. And like I said, it's by far one of the best apps for the PS3 and I highly recommend everyone to download it and have some fun customizing your PS3. So there's that, <laughs> there's that boot logo, I guess. Not a big fan of that. And there's the two colors of the wave, right? That's pretty, pretty sick. Let me press the PS button, there we go. And the icons you can see are black, they're different doesn't really help but there it is guys that is how you mess around with the ultimate toolbox works great and I'm very happy to have it here on the ps3 and I'll showcase more of this and have some more fun in different videos in the future but for now that is it for this video thank you so much for watching again be careful with going through like your firmware settings and your backup utilities and and just be very careful make sure to read everything so that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please comment down below and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future thank you so much for watching take care guys and i'll see you on the next one